future pickers here, what you're about to view is some TK Maxx footage. For anyone who's new to this channel, we um, we buy to resell, specialising in luxury goods, and we take you around with us when we're sourcing, picking from our sort of like extracurricular places. So like TK Maxx, uh, Chad Shots, Boot Sales, blah 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 blah. Um, anyway, we went to, and I'm sure most of you have watched it. If you haven't, I'll link it in the bio, or it'll be linked above. Um, but we recently went to a TK Maxx in the centre of a town called Taunton, which is a Somerset-based town. And it was kind of a Debbie Downer video, really. Um, like just full-on Debbie. Full-on Debbie. Basically just how the all TK Maxx's aren't really created the same. They don't get the same stock. They don't get the same pieces. So if you're able to travel or source from different TK Maxx's, that's definitely the case. It's very much like charity shop shopping yeah. in the circumstances that they're all you're not going to find a banger in every single charity shop you go to. Some TK Maxx actually don't even carry a, the gold labels at all. They might have a few bits in between other pieces. So... We decided that because that video was such a Debbie Downer and it actually did really good views, but we were like, oh, it was yeah. such a Debbie Downer. It was, it was, it was, yeah, it was just like, it wasn't necessarily negative, but it, it, it was very much like, because of the, or at least I believe it, because of the location, I felt like it wasn't one of our greatest as regards kind of what we were picking, looking for. It, it wasn't an accurate sort of like how TK Maxx can be. No, people and see some of our older TK Maxx videos and yeah. you get kind of the impression of what I it mean, should be like. In that circumstance, you needed to have a sort of wholesale mentality. How many pieces you could, could pick up because yeah, the point. margins was very the, the margins were very small. However, you're going to see in this footage that there are far more great brands, higher price points in some cases, but bigger profit margins. And in that case, you can pick up one or two things to plump up your eBay store, one or two things that look good on Depop, Vestiaire. Um, and you can also be more selective with what you're picking up because some of the high-end brand pieces there were obviously off-price um, high-end brands, whereas you don't want that stuff that's made. You don't, you don't really, if you're only picking up a few pieces, you don't really want that made for outlet no. stuff. You don't because the profit margin isn't there. Yeah, I was just going to say the profit's usually a lot smaller with that kind of piece. So you're going to see in this video we, uh, the kind of brands that you can find in TK Maxx's, the kind of brands you can find but should avoid. So like there's some amazing uh, Gucci pieces from both ends of the spectrum. So there's some amazing Gucci pieces from the uh, uh, new old stock, which we wouldn't touch, but we'll obviously talk further a bit in detail about that in a minute. And there's also some brand new Gucci pieces, which are like yeah. fire, fire, fire emojis. Like literally a few seasons ago. Yes. So there's both ends of the spectrum, and it just shows you how um, how varied um, TK Maxx is can be with their stock. Yeah, yeah their stock specifically, that mostly down to location. Location, location, location. So the first shop was in Taunton, which is sort of like a, I think they call it like a market town. It's like a- Yeah, it kind of is. It's a large town in Somerset. And the second shop was Central Bath, which is a very affluent city. You um, do the math, kids. High student population, but high international student population. I feel like this this, this intro is very, very calm and relaxed. And I feel like I'm not shouting or talking enough. That's okay. I, so I just thought I'd get you in it so that you were in it because- I so much i do you know. appreciate the side shot my triple chin thank you but it's so much just me chatting isn't it really anyway but this so we'll play we'll roll roll vt we'll roll, uh -huh. we'll roll the footage um now and enjoy and if you watch the first video then you can also get a different outlook into the second video i know a lot of people in the first video said about hargers toys um yeah uh, things like that it was actually quite interesting because a couple of people yeah you said mentioned um not only in comments but also uh, we had some dms mentioned things about um things we'd seen and things they'd seen at a local tk max which would kind of done them very well but also the sales would quickly turn around quite quickly too yes but um we have to remember to a degree we specialize well no we we specialize in high-end goods so when we go to tk maxx's we look purely for those luxury brands gold label is our favorite section however you'll learn in this video that gold label isn't just restricted to us to the gold label section um and 
the how you know how you can do men's women's accessories kids even. kids even the kids was hit and miss but anyway you will get into the video you'll see you'll see what we're talking about and then if you haven't watched the other taunting one then you watch that as well and then you'll get you'll definitely understand why we were debbie downing and now we're Susie. Smiling. Smiling. Um, I also, I also just want to uh, ask if, um, when you see different, like different products and kind of different margins, I'm going to try and drive as well. So excuse me for ignoring you. Don't look at the camera. That's um, bad driving. Bad. Um, I was going to say, put in the comments what what things you would purchase, um, or maybe put in as well what you wouldn't, and give the reasons why. Because every video we do, we always mention why we picked something up or maybe why we didn't. Um, and some people agree, some people don't. So I just think it's interesting to see a cross section of how people kind of pick and what they pick, and whether it's because it's a larger margin, whether it's because it's a quick, easy sale, which maybe is a smaller margin, or it's just a really cheap item, which is like four pound, and you can make twenty on quickly. Everyone knows us. We're all about the large margins, and we're all about the the best brands so that's how we choose to yeah. shop and so you can sort of see how we shop come shopping with us if you will and then maybe you can apply that to your own business maybe you can apply that to your own life side hustles is great and then one of the best places to start a side hustle if you uh, want us to, to start with really good quality pieces that are like readily available is to hear back um, especially in the clothing and accessories market. It's also a great place to get some uh, quick knowledge. Um, not everything in TK Maxx, you know, costs an arm and a leg to be honest, and not everything's kind of high end. But you can you can really get some high end pieces in TK Maxx um, with quite some, with some ease, and so they're not spending too much. So enjoy. Tell us what you think. Um, and um, I know there's two TK Maxx's close together, but there's a reason for it, yeah. gang. It's because one's great. Um, enjoy. If you got through that six minute intro, then you are a champion. That well, was my hand. That was your hand. Welcome to TK Maxx Bath, a completely different shopping experience from TK Maxx Taunton, and we will show you why. It's bath time, but only not with like a rubber duck or anything. No. We headed straight to the handbag section in this store. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, we go to TK Maxx and we show you what you can buy to make money on. We also go to charity shops, boot sales, and any other luxury stores which are discount outlets. We always go to loads of different places, but today we're in TK Maxx and we are luxury specialists, so we do tend to veer towards high end women's wear and men's wear. So if that is not your thing, then. You're Thanks in for the, the view and the switch off. You're in the wrong place. Um, uh, However, if you enjoy that kind of thing, keep watching. Yeah, keep watching. The handbags are always a minefield. There are a lot of made-for-outlet handbags, and it is a popular thing to buy, so they have to keep them in stock. Here but is one banger from APC. APC is a workwear denim brand. We'll specialise in denim. This is a collaboration. With Jound or j Jound? j j j Jound. Uh, <laughs> you you realise how old we sound when we say it like that? Yeah. Or you say it like that? These were new, but they were new without... They didn't have the APC tag. I did find a used comp for 180 however, none has sold. So they probably would have been a decent buy, but you're probably not going to get 180 let's be honest. This was uh, 39, 39.99, I believe. Which is great, really. This is uh, Moncrief. Uh, they do loads of luxury, different kind of loads of different luxury style of goods. Um, this one was £200, uh, originally like just over 1000 and to be fair, they go for good money. They, they go for very good well, money. Right? They do. They do a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Uh, people get a, get a kind of um, confused with Montclair, and they're yes. very different brands. Um, I did find a comp for a sold one for five hundred pound. You would tag it. It looked like a TK Maxxer. Um, Speaking of non TK Maxxers, yeah, this was six hundred pound. It's the Gucci collab with Mickey Mouse. They are on eBay for one thousand two hundred, but that is new with box. This is just new. This will have a tag inside, but it's not tagged. And you might be very lucky if you get a dust bag. Yes. This is a backpack, which I appreciate because I think. To, oh, sorry, you have to look out for damage as well. Sorry. I, I, yeah, they're usually here because they're maybe not. They're not seconds ever, but there might be something wrong. But they look how they're sitting on the. Yeah, I mean, I just, oh, it just hurts my soul to see yes. them like that. Honestly, it does. This is a Soho clutch. They did produce these for outlet. I know because I used to work for Gucci. Um, they did print it, but they didn't. Black is a a more you know sort of color that really didn't come to outlet a lot. If that makes sense. Um, one thousand three hundred eBay, and that is just a um what it's sitting on there for it's not a sold comp i would i would expect about for a new one i would expect about a thousand cool this will, be, will take a vententa Ven, oh, I can't, it's easy for me to say there you go there. <laughs> Ven, 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 Ven. um this is like a, a kind of crossbody side bag 
Um, once again, really, really expensive to buy new and to be fair, not a bad price. There are margins in these luxury handbags, but you are obviously are out assessing a lot. This is like half price basically from retail. Yes. And you are probably going to make maybe a third more than than the label price. Yeah, agreed. Amounts, which obviously is a very good profit. However, you're having to outlay a lot and you also do have to keep an eye out for that condition. Yeah, I agree. I'm keeping it live and on air, Austin. We're keeping it rolling. Are we? Yeah, we're keeping it rolling. Um, I thought I wanted to try and show you as much as physically possible. Yep. And me? me? Your, oh, I, I was there. That includes your boots. Thank you, my boots. Cool, okay. While you were browsing this, I found this in the sale section, the clearance section. It was reduced down to 389 and it is a Balenciaga silver. They call it a market tote. It's supposed to look like a shop, a bit, an old school shopping bag. Yes. And to be quite frank, with Balenciaga being in the news for bad things at the moment, we won't go any further than that, but there you go. <laughs> and this is a, a Yusei, because I can never say it. Uh, Sakai. Uh, Sakai are, are a really core cool brand. They, they recently did a, a collaboration, which most people will know, Nike. With, with Nike, we would kind of have those step kind of waffle runners. And now everyone um, is, you kind of seeing more of the kind of original Nike waffles come through because of that collaboration. Yes. They, the Balenciaga tote was listed on Vestier for 800. Um, I didn't find any achieved comps, um, but a Balenciaga, ha a Balenciaga handbag new for about 800 is about right. However, obviously you've got to wait for the right customer who wants that bag and as austin just said in the light of balenciaga's issues at the moment mm. yeah uh versace couture Versace Couture. Uh, I picked those up because Versace Couture, funnily enough, is one of their lower lower end. You know, which is, what are these? These are collab. Oh, the, sorry. These are the Mer Meramico collab with Adidas. We recently had a Meramico uh, collab with Uniqlo on our, I think, on our haul, which yes. we picked up in charity shop. These were fifty pounds, um, and they, that seemed like a, a fairly good deal. However, I found them on a discount website for thirty five pounds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. There you go. That's a great example, and that's how stock gets moved in yes. these kind of outlet kind of chains. If you want, I'm gonna keep talking about those uh, Versace Couture. So anything you see on the screen, feel free to jump in. Um, what I was gonna say was, I always, I always, it annoys me when they call uh, brand like that for example um uh, versace couture, couture because uh, couture by its nature is is the highest of high 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 end okay so versace um have a couture line these are chloe 200, 200 pounds. pound and i found them on the outnet for 330 that was there so they're still um, a lot cheaper than the outnet yeah, an outnet, outnet yeah. and an outlet, an outlet website just to clarify these for high are, end these are really good these are atp atelier and they're 32 pounds um and their current season net of porter 180 so you probably would have tripled your money with that one also just to let you know the gold the, it sounds obvious now but obviously at one point they were 100 pounds in tk max because the gold 100 which is done in kind of like a gold sharpie or, or yeah. marker pen um lets you know that that's what the price was originally when they came in this is a Givenchy hat beanie that austin spied with his eyes Peepers? <laughs> i don't know how much for how much do they want for it? 80 80 pound now when i looked at comps to this hat it seems like this is a popular hat it's got like a little cult following but they were only reaching that used I, so, I, I feel mm. I feel like that might be because they maybe they had an influx through the the outlets and also place like TK Maxx. It might have been something they made just you know so you can have Givenchy on your head. Exactly that. But just quickly going back to the Versace uh, <laughs> Couture because I'm going to finally say this: Couture is the highest, usually the highest form of any kind of fashion brand. So when they call their lowest, their lower end brand Versace Couture, it kind of annoys me. I know it's jeans Couture, but it kind of annoys me and. Why that annoys me is if you try and search for Versace Couture online, yes, but from Giovanni Versace or the Versace line itself, you get a load of regular trainers or slides or flip-flops. And it gets very kind of... It's, it's hard work. Let me talk about this Chloe purse really Hit quickly. Hit me with it. They had two with dust bags. It is the unicorn purse, the smaller size with the embroidered unicorns on it. I found comps for a used larger purse, which obviously is more expensive, for 127. These purses in the cabinet were five hundred pound a piece. Wowzers, wowzers. So there literally wasn't anything in them. I I would say used. You would actually lose the money. Four hundred ish. I mean, they 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 were very nice, and they were um once again, Chloe is very expensive to buy new. But the reality is, like, we're talking on a resale level here. Um, Don't and be blinded by, by the brands. No, that's a really that's a really good thing to, yeah, that's but really to point, point out. But you can, talking to brands, you can also use TK Maxx for good research um, for brands to look out for in charity shops and at car boot sales, etc. 100%. This Nanashuka, yeah, Nanashuka, Nanashuka yeah. uh, leather puffer jacket there was £200 and they were selling for about 350 So there is a little bit of money there. For sure. And once again, if you came across that brand in a charity shop, once again, like, I, I don't want to, uh, like, half on it too much 
but it's research. A TK Maxx is a great research tool. Half the brands in there are total rubbish and you'll get yeah. nothing for as regards resale. Um, but things like that, for example, YMC. A, YMC. They were selling used for 45 Yep. Um, so there wasn't a huge, huge margin uh, On that there, specific but... dress. However, we've yes. sold items from YMC recently and they do. They're quite a niche brand. It's yes. not It's not a massive, massive brand. Rixo is another great one for dresses. I wanted to show you this Rixo dress. It was a full price at 150 However, you can push comps on Rixo and people are achieving around that price, 285 for dresses. So if you get a, the right one, right style, or you can relate it to someone wearing it, then you're, yeah. you're quitting. I was just going to say, Rixo is worn by a lot of celebs and, and influencers at the moment. So once again, if you can tie it to someone who's kind of contemporary or, or maybe... I call it a D-list brand. Yeah. So I don't I don't want to be rude, but like people like Holly Willoughby, Willoughby yep. and um, like presenters wear it a lot and, you know... BBC people. There you go. <laughs> BBC people. No, I do know what you mean. That sounds harsh, but I know exactly what you're saying. You won't, you won't see it on necessarily a red carpet, by the same token, uh, people are wearing it who are in influence, should we say. Yeah, and people are, are paying for it for offence. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this was a must. This is outstanding. This this looks basically very kind of 8-bit, a, a eight kind of pixely kind of retro computer in actual fact Minecrafty and, and Burby did a, a collab recently with Minecraft which went really really well uh, our small person was like over the moon about that because she got to play as a Burby character in Minecraft which was kind of cool um, but nonetheless this this is an actual couture dress that's the difference I found a listing for this on a resale site for $600 there you go however this piece was missing the upper tag so it didn't have the upper tag it had the newer tags but obviously the next person who's going to buy that is going to remove the tag as in the actual tag as in the ne but the in the neck, tag. please, you know, where, where it says Mos Moschino Couture. Yeah. yeah, so, but it was £72 and you could quite easily double to triple that. Yeah, even without the tag, for sure. Yeah, yeah so. you, Like, if you, that's the thing. Once again, it's about, it's about what you want to spend and what you can spend. This is a great example here. Oh, were you waiting for me to say the hard yeah. name? Yeah, Thank you. £290. Pound Brunatello Colucci. No, it's something like that. I can't even. I can't even. I can't even say it without seeing it. Impeccable brand. Uh, it, it was like two hundred, two thousand uh, plus pounds yeah. originally. So it was. It was like ninety percent off. A little bit of an extra chunk there, and a little bit of Chinti and Parker. A lot of Chinti and Parker cashmere sitting in uh, TK Maxx at the moment. It's one of those brands that will come in, but in a few months you won't see it again. So it's great to pick up and uh, put online because it's not a regular occurrence. Agreed. There are some brands that you regularly see at TK Maxx's um, and those brands yeah. I sort of like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, even in our videos, there are, there are certain brands which you see keep coming up and I try not to kind of film too many of those because it gets boring. Um, and once again, as soon as they're there constantly, that kind yeah. of brand devalues also. Well, the thing is they buy from far third party um, sort of like middlemen, if you will. Yep. And if those middlemen continuously get in, say, Stella McCartney, that's what that's they're going to have. That's the TK Maxx are going to have. That's a great example, actually. A couple of years ago, they don't have so much now, but a couple of years ago, they like they had like months and months and months of Stella McCartney, then nothing. Yes. Now I can't, yeah, you can't get in there. You can't find it in there. So it, it, it's hit and miss. It's almost like roulette. And yeah, also, I agree. And, and sort of the waiting game. I thought this was really cool. This is very like uh, Iceberg. Um, it's kind of a, a denim kind of clothing company, which was very popular in the kind of early 2000s, late 90s, which had a resurgence. This quote I go back to in a little bit, um, which I didn't notice until I kind of I turned the thing around. But we'll go back to that in a second. Uh, this is, I believe, Moschino as well. This was so heavy. This skirt is a skirt, isn't it? It was a dress. Couture. Skirt. Honestly, I could barely lift it. It was so heavy. Yeah, it, really, like, it wasn't only cotton, but it was like thick, 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 thick cotton. That's iceberg as well. Um, I don't know if I get it on camera. Maybe you I'm... Do. I do. I do, yeah. yeah. You do, Austin. See by Chloe for £150. That's pounds. gorgeous. A great example of how people underprice See by Chloe. Look at that drawstring. Isn't that nice? Because it's so expensive and it... Blame yes, us, so like, It gets put up so cheaply, used. We, we've had this conversation. Go on to see our other video, TK Maxx videos about Chloe, TK Maxx stuff. But once again, their actual stuff is so lovely. I left a lot of footage in because I knew we were going to chat. We're you chatting. See? Are we you chatting? Yeah, one hundred percent. And you're going back to that iceberg. You'll see it in a moment. Um, or we'll we'll just look some sparkly pants they're instead. They're golden goose. I picked those up because they're golden goose. Right, come on, come on. There you go. Show us. There you go. Look at this. Just if you were like, look at that Snow White. It's got some pulls. It's got, some it's got major pulls. Condition it's right through. issues. Right through. Is it meant to look like that? No. No, okay. No, it's not got at all. condition issues. £217. I bet it was gorgeous. And once again, the pulls are a problem. I couldn't find any 
comps or any things to note. Possibly could have been a sample piece. This is beautiful corset skirt. Very on trend. If anyone watches Sammy on TikTok, you'll know. Oh, it's very her. The um, what do they call the harness? Harness harness vibes. Yeah, are these easy? Easy, easy season. Yes, they are. From uh, Kanye West, the crazy man. But nonetheless. Some geniuses are crazy. These are deeply used. Oh, they are. They are. They, they, they have been. They have been not only like used, but they they've been returned from by someone who's used them. Um, I was just that was gorgeous for my from own Joseph. Gratitude there. We are now tuning into uh, Bethany Cam. Here we go. <laughs> Haley Mendez is a great print designer. Really great to pick up in a while. This is ninety three pounds, obviously reduced. Uh, Hitting them with our four K. Um, but I it has been known to be found in uh, charity shops. Also, Chinti and Parker. Chinti and Parker. I just sold a cardigan. Great brand. Slight shrinkage, and I sold it for sixty six. That's fifty new attacks. So there's definitely, definitely money in is it. That Melanie Burke? Burger. Melanie Burger, seventy three pound. Another brand that is severely underpriced on the internet. And do you know what? Most of these brands, as much as most people might say, like, oh, I'm never going to find these in a charity shop. I would say, like, a good 75 percent of these brands we found in charity shops. A lot of Haley Mendez. Am I saying her right name right? I can't see it. I'm really sorry if I just said it wrong. It's Henley was it Henley or Haley? I was saying Mendez, but I don't think it is Mendez. Okay. Oh, I can't God, see. You, we, we, we go so fast within the actual, um, like, flipping because we are trying to get so much in, I but guess. there was a lot of her sitting in um, TK Max, so she's obviously the brand of the moment. I just left this clip in. Right. This is a rag and bone nip that I'm starting, <laughs> to, I'm starting to go fund me for. Bethany wants this nip. I've told her multiple times, get it. And every time I say get it, she's like, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. And then we, we get in the car and she's like, oh, I should have got that. They, we've seen this this actual same one in multiple TK Max stores in multiple videos. And every time. Well, people always offer us coffees for our authentication so if you could just all band together and buy me that no fine. don't don't <laughs> she doesn't deserve it people no, she does but don't <laughs> <laughs> this is a um austin calls them zigzag is zoltan is it a yeah um which obviously uh, which is underpriced on the internet i don't know how many times i have to say that one why is it though um, I don't know. I, I I think for a while it wasn't hitting trends. It wasn't really like the go-to brand. Well, they were known for fragrance a lot and, and kind of accessories more so yeah, for a while. Yeah, I've sold quite a lot recently over to France. Really? Yes, I have. And on Depop as well. So Interesting. Is... Oh, via, you mean France via uh, Vestier and so on? No, Depop. Really? Yeah, Depop. I sold two pieces to do for Oh, France. yeah, that, the white long sleeve, I remember, actually, now. And the silky left, one, yeah. I also left this dressing because it was a very pretty woman. And the way that Austin deals with it is hilarious to me. Yep. Like, are Wait you... for it. <laughs> well, firstly, I had to do the, I had to be a good citizen and move that green thing, right? I, I would just... It would... has a really high starting price. Look at it. Look, Look. at it. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> Where to go? Okay, which bit is which? Okay, it's all right. So yeah, well, that's an arm. It? It's a brand called Me and Me, which I have honestly never heard of. Not Me and M, but Me I'm and Me. Okay, to admit that to you. Get ready for this. Like, look at this. If 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 you do were clothes for long enough, you just feel a piece of fabric without even looking at anything else, and you just know. And this. Is it's a full gown, just so everyone knows before Austin has a heart attack. Yeah, it's a full gown by this brand. We're not going to go there. That's why we're not going to go there. Um, <laughs> I'll put, I put the logo on because I knew I wouldn't be able to see it. One, it was two. Reduced Hit me the logo. To, it was reduced to £27 pounds from two and a half thousand. Two and a half thousand. However, in a minute you'll see why. Ah! It doesn't actually look so bad on camera. But oh, no, it like, hurt my like, feelings. This has been that. worn to, like, I don't know, some kind of award or some kind of event or and some returned. kind of whatever. And returned. Um or being just given back, and it's ended up in kind I of rent, a... I think it's a Rent the Runway piece. Yeah, so, yeah, well, 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 well maybe I'll do a podcast on Rent the Runway at some point. But it was reduced to £27. Pounds. So if you have a dry cleaner who you trust... No, do you know what I do? <laughs> I just turn out Dye there. it. I dry it black. Yeah, okay. Bang. And then we... Then dry we... cleaner for any, any, any issues, then dye it black. I, the best, Look, boom! The, the only comp I could find was an offer of 1600 <laughs> I think this this is just a small um a small shot of snapshot of some children's wear that's available. Don't um, miss out on the children's wear. Do you know what? Whether whether you're buying for I was going to say yourself or your small person um or persons, it, there, there's some there are some good bargains to be had. But also uh, as regards uh, retail arbitrage, honestly, people really do sleep on kids wear and say oh, it doesn't sell. Honestly, like anything we've ever bought, RA specifically for kids, 
always goes really quick. I know for a fact our small human has a better wardrobe than me, and that's a Yeah, fact. 100%. I thought I died and went to heaven when I found these, what I thought What did were, you think they were? I thought they were Anna Heimarsh candles, and I actually looked at the company, and it isn't anything. The actual candle, such a vibe as well. It's like um, an old school kind of pull ring can, like a yeah. Coke can on top. I thought it was Anna Heimarsh, and I really want an Anna Heimarsh candle, but I don't want to pay £65. Pounds. But they're super cute. But you can see where they got it from, can't you? They are super cute, though. Um, but that is a typical example of TK Maxx and actually, you know, looking at things a bit more carefully. 100%. Um, as we venture into menswear. The foreign land of the menswear. We did do homeware in the shop. Um, I'm sorry if you love homeware, but we will do it again sometime. Maybe We've always said we'll do like a, a specific homeware video. The problem is at the moment, any homeware in any TK Maxx is like inundated, so obviously, busy. with Christmas stuff as well. So it's kind of a bit, it's a bit wild. Right, take it away, Austin. I left this in for you. Oh, where do we start? Okay, so this is Polo by Ralph Lauren. However, this has got an older tag, and they did a couple of retro tags, which this isn't actually. This is an old tag. The price. The original price is 500 and something pounds. It's not reversible. Um, it was downfill, but it was cotton. And I, I don't, to the, for the life of me, I do not know why. Didn't on the tag it say something about um, concept? Yeah, con it was uh, somebody with a con uh, concept, um, what do you call it, a concept, um, oh God, a line. So basically, like, th these would have been either sample pieces from that line. Like, look, for like, what, is it 50 pounds? There was nothing wrong with it. They it was cut fine. the size out as well. But also the size was cut out. So um, majority of Ralph pieces, especially with older tags, you'll notice not that label, but the label in the actual, I'm, I'm trying to do like some kind of remote research, but it told me nothing. Um, just wait around to put my thumb there. They they cut it out, which tells me I think it was a sample. If not, it was something else, which was a bit like an anomaly. If you want, it's weird. D squared jacket. It was actually really quite cool. I thought. If that's your vibe, it's your vibe. That was quite reasonable too, wasn't it? D squared sells really well. They used to be really popular for their like trucker hats, but um, they're not like. Cool. Yeah, cool. if anyone's not kind of like 100% with them, like all the icon hats and stuff like yes. that, the big icon caps were very popular and t-shirts. This is Stone Island, £97 bargain. Um, it, it's actually, it's not it's not actually that old either. Uh, some of their like crazier pieces like this, um, this isn't a collab, but some of the collab pieces as well go for a lot, a lot, a lot. This is a really nice piece. There was nothing necessarily wrong with it. There's no, which, there's no badge. Which, People love a badge. Which most of the Stone Island pieces in, in Tiki Max, there's usually something wrong with them. Um, however, once again, like Bethany said, what you're really looking for when, you, when you're doing that kind of thing is, listed, is the badge, no, you know? No souls listed. There was two listed. This coat, for example, is Moncrief. The, the bag we, we were talking about before at the beginning, yeah. um, this is this is a coat from that brand. And um, yeah, it's, just, it's a lovely coat. It's just expensive. The Stone Island, there was two listed for two two twenty and... 2.15, none sold. This, I just want to draw attention to Gucci in TK Maxx because it offends me. For anyone who doesn't know, I used to work for Gucci. I know I say it all the all the time this is 130 pound this is so old i can't even express to you like that's older than our little girl it is so old and i just think like anyone's you're sort of being duped when you're buying that i know this Etro. However, is so nice and, oh. it's a silk shirt from etro etro is an amazing brand we've so we've sold and bought so many good pieces from etro both new and pre-owned via charity shops they always sell they always go really quick and they no matter what size shape or style it sells men's, it sells it sells men's always sells better and Highly patterned silk sell really well. Indeed. This was a Deuce X Machina. Um, the hats, the t-shirts, everything sell from them. You got to get cheap enough though and that was too expensive. Uh, yeah, 30 pounds. You, you were taxed, but it wasn't like... It's this. cheap if you're buying it for yourself. But once again, like I'm not. It's a motorcycle-esque brand. So you've got to find things that sort of fit in with that like brand message. Agreed. If, if that makes sense. This was a banger rang and this was from Masoni. Um, this is like a, well, I guess like a, um, what do you call it? Like a vest dress. Uh, yeah, like I, I call them tennis dresses, but I know that's not like the official term. Um, from Masoni, they're known for um, well, they're known for their stripes. Their what do you call knit. it? Like the, zig the zigzag kind of pattern. Um, they do it's everything. A knit technique from it, it's a knit technique. Yes, Bethany, thank you. One fifty. I probably would have put hundred quid on that. Uh, how much was it? One fifty. I probably would have sold it two fifty. Yeah, fair enough. This is nice. Uh, Paul Smith. But once again, it is P.S. Paul Smith. Not, not taken away from the brand, but it's not full line Paul Smith. You've got kind of trust your abilities, though. You've got to trust what your eBay store does. Um, how you can promote it, how you can photograph it, how you can brand it. 
going forward onto the pre-love yeah, market. Yeah, don't, don't go and spend like a £200 on a jacket, even if it's like a two grand jacket, if you know nothing about it, if you're not really aware of the market, if you haven't done any research, doing it blind, you, like it just doesn't work that way, I'm and afraid. And you're putting a lot of money into something there's no guarantee on. That's why I always say, if you're not sure and you want to start dipping your feet into the TK Maxx world, wait until the yellow ticket sale. Everyone asks me when the yellow ticket sale is. It is in January and they have one also in the summer. If you just phone them and ask them when your local store is, they will probably tell you it usually as well they they also have the uh, mini sales um so sales on a lot of clearance stuff during change of season so for example when you go from spring to summer uh, and vice versa um with all the other seasons you, they they will kind of drop things just based on the fact that obviously it's kind of the end of the season, of the season they're trying to get that gone i just wanted to show you and i hope we showed you well in this video the difference in shops is the brands is like ridiculous in comparison i know well, we'll see you in the next one. See you tomorrow and love you. Bye.